Hello, folks. Welcome back to another, in a long time, Two Drink Minimum Commentary. I am one of your hosts, Gary Hill. With me, as going to be usual, is uh, Mr. Cameron Scott. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Ready to get my gore on. I'm, I got my two drinks ready to go. I'm taking this shit serious. Nice. Do, do, do it for Ali Reed all, all day long. See, so, yeah. I will not drink myself to death, though. I yeah, don't do that. No, yeah, yeah, I, don't I, I don't recommend that. <laughs> And also with us from the Blood Bass and Boom Six podcast, um, my man, partner of the fired Tim Gross. Apparently, I, apparently I fired him. Apparently, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Poling, how you doing, sir? I'm fine. I'm super happy. I've never seen Gore, but I was just informed that it has Paul Smith and Arnold Bosloo's shitty Dark Man in it. So I'm I'm happy as as fuck to watch this movie now. <sighs> Cool. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, Gore from 1987, uh, directed by Franz Kirsch, who gave us um, Children of the Corn, Tough Turf, and another film. Oh, what, what is it called? It's called Winners Take All. That I that I must see. It's it's where they take a Supercross and turn into like gladiator gladiator sport. I, I have to watch this movie now because it exists and. Um, Came out the same year as this. Yeah, I don't know. I have to watch this now. <laughs> you know, I love George Romero, but I've seen Knight Riders, and I didn't like it. I think I'll skip that one. It's so long. <laughs> Knight Riders is like t- two hours and change. Mm-hmm. I like it okay, but you know, cut twenty minutes. I'm talking Not to you. I'm talking to you, too, Michael Bay and Ambulance. I watched that today. You cut twenty minutes out of that movie too. You know. Um. But yeah, we got Gore open. Uh, we hope you guys do too. We're gonna watch it, and when I say go, you you go. So three, two, one, go. Or Gore, if you prefer. I do have my sound up a little bit. Is that okay? That's okay. I don't care. <laughs> I have to. I have to hear all the tummy rumblings from Paul Smith. Sure there's gonna be some. Because he's mean, you know. Enjoy? He's mean, he's large. Two two things. Yes. I got yelled at for liking Popeye the other day. Why? Fuck you. Popeye is wonderful. I, I find out today that... Popeye you, is a delight. I, I found out the other day that there, there was an article on the internet to where they they built the town of Sweet Haven in, 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 in a, on an island in Italy, and it still exists. You can go visit the place, you know? Uh, you know, when you see the words canon come up, you know it's going to be good. Quality. Look at all these Italian names, too. I, I don't think these are real names. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh. Rebecca Ferrari. Oh, she's... Oh. Mm, mm, Jack. No, they said oh, Jack, Jack Palance had two minutes of, of, of screen time here. He, he demanded third billing. That was a big... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Reed! Oh, man. Score by Pino Donaggio in this movie, guys. So, you know, you know, it's got high class. Yep. Max Lemon. What a name, Hans Newell. Or Canool. Oh, this is a book. Isn't there like thirty of these fucking gore books? There's, there's two. I don't know. There's at least, there's at least one. You know, and there's a well, sequel, so there might be two. Two movies. Yeah, it's two movies for sure. I know the books are... I, know, I think there's like a ton of them. I think it was a comic book series, too. I Maybe. might be off on that. I'm not sure. <laughs> have to check our... Um... There's a car. This is... What? I thought this was like a fantasy movie. There's a there's a Fiero right there. <laughs> this is like a John Carter situation, I think, where he goes oh, back in time. I was thinking, like, what? Which is a film that doesn't suck. It just was marketed terribly, you know. With this ring, I got out of the Cracker Jack box. I the wed. He's got the uh, he's got the ring of power for all Italian movies. One <laughs> ringed, pull them all. Pull them all. He's got that super duper Casio watch with the calculator on Fuck it. Man. Yeah, oh, this man. guy's on it. That guy's eating a pencil. Oh, does he got jeans on too? Nobody, nobody is listening to him. <laughs> You got some bitch knitting over there, just like I'm not paying any attention. 
Oh, wait a minute. That's the guy that's the... Is that the guy Barbarine. from Prime Wave? That's the guy from Demons. Yeah. That's the, uh, the only yeah, one that it makes is. it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's fucking uh, Samurai Swordsman, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knows how to swing that thing all of a sudden. Get the accept music right now. First, there's a shower coming out of the dark. He's, he's pulling wheelies over those fucking chairs in that classroom. Well, like, one-handed while swinging a samurai sword? Yeah. I know he's a badass. Nothing, it's got hey. gas. It's got gas and no problem, so, you know. Oh, my God, fashioned in the 1980s. One thing I don't miss about it. Fucking fishing pole? What the hell? <laughs> They're all gonna go do different things. Somebody's gonna play tennis, another guy's gonna go fishing. Somebody go find Susan Day George and uh ask where the bastards are. What dude get, <laughs> get the fishing pole out of there. Maybe take another take of that, buddy. Yeah, you know, film cost money back then. Ah. They could they couldn't afford to do second takes. That guy's the <laughs> Italian um Oh shit, his name escaped me. American Ninja guy. He's, he's Italian Dudikoff. Michael Dudikoff. Wait. This, according to IMDb, the sequel to Gore came is, is is existed before the regular Gore, so I don't know what that's about, but um, it's weird. It's, that's the Italian. That's <laughs> how they do it, I guess. But that guy started in Demons. He started in Gore and, and the sequel. Uh, opera he was in. Oh yeah. Uh, the black cat. The, um, that's the Fulci one, right? Eighty nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, look for some other whatever whatever it's code name Wolverine. Extremely important. It's going to get me laid. Whatever code name Wolverine is, he's in that movie from nineteen ninety six. <laughs> that's uh his highlight though of his career. Is I bet that's the same Jeep from. Deep. Oh. All just like fucking Voslu. Voslu sport the members only jacket. Yeah. I think. He's not quite Dark Man weight yet. <laughs> no. Or, or uh, King Emotep weight. Got, gotta love those loafers with no socks, man. Jeez, do you think he's gonna be playing a douche in this movie? Maybe. <laughs> He is going up against the bastard child of Anthony Edwards and Peter Weller, though. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, my lady. We'll talk later. What the fuck kind of Italian fuck car is that? <laughs> it's got a big back seat, son. Is it a truck or a car? I don't get it. It looks like a fucking marshmallow with headlights. Hey, it's weed. My favorite plant. Oh. I'm telling you. Get it in. Yeah, Take those glasses off while you're driving. That makes sense. Yeah, John Carter is in, a, in a, the realm of those Disney films that are, you know, underseen and underappreciated, I think. Eh, John Carter wasn't that bad. It was just long. It's like the Lone Ranger movie. I had fun with it. Wasn't yeah. for everybody, though. I'm having more fun with the Johnny Depp doo-doo meme. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen the Hulk Hogan one? Oh, no, I haven't seen this yet. No. I'll share that in the chat. He's got a, he's got a, a CD player in his car at 87. He, this guy's a baller. He's got that gore ring. That's why he's driving a marshmallow, man, because right, yeah. he spent all his money on the fucking Jesus. CDs. Oh, no car makes that when you hit Tam Tree. Come on, man. I think it's German built. You could tell. What that is ring this? Looks like, it doesn't look like a ring. It just looks like a like a piece of bubble gum, man. It does. Oh. It's like a piece of candy. That Casio watch is legit, though, for sure. Hey, it kept a, it took a licking and kept on ticking, and it went all the way back in time. So you can watch how I cheat on my homework in class. Check this out, y'all. 
<laughs> Did you ever have one of those watches that was a Transformer? Yeah. Yes. I had one of those. Got it, got it, it, sucked. Got it from the flea market. Probably a bootleg one. Along with my uh, my Ninja Stars and, you know. Fuck yeah, we had a we had a illegal black market flea market that sell kids <laughs> nunchucks and Ninja Stars too. Wonder why they always stick into the fence. Fucking non-lethal things. Toto, we are not in Kansas anymore. Waiting for the Tuscan Raiders to pop out. Yeah. Or or crusty or crusty Boba Fett. <clears throat> they ride in single file to hide their numbers. What's wrong with your skin, Boba? Just a little dry. That's all. <clears throat> Just cut myself shaving, it's all right. Gotta go have a good soak for a while. Which was the only saving grace of Boba Fett you could. You Tatooine. There you go, yeah. Look at that beautiful matte painting. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's what you want. Where's Dar? Oh. There needs to be some fucking Beastmaster action going on. He's, he's waiting behind the mountain with his cat. The cat they spray painted. There you go. And it died because of it. <laughs> I am Dar. Oh, there he is. It is Majestic Headpiece. Mm, that's my kind of woman, right there. Oh, yeah. That's the chick I used to play in Gauntlet. P punk rock <laughs> Sandel Bergman. Kill the villagers. Play there spray paint. Ever a human built to resemble a He-Man character? <laughs> Oliver Reed is that man. <laughs> his skull looks plastic on his chest, though, which is very disappointing. I wonder if his arms can pop off and go on somebody else's torso. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a quarter of the power of Oliver Reed? Yeah. Get that drinking arm, you'd be set, man. <laughs> Nobody would ever mess with you. <laughs> the drinking slash masturbation arm. It's got that Popeye forearm going on. Yeah. <sighs> you know what this film needs? Rory Calhoun. That's what I said, It needs Rory Calhoun. Oh, so he bedazzled his shit too. Look, look, look at his, uh, his, his rubber uh, shoulder pads. You know, if it was a valuable stone, I don't think I'd put it in fucking town square. Yeah, in plain view. Yeah. Sorry. Give me that rock candy right there. That's how the blob happens, Oliver Reed, is all I'm saying. You want the blob? Because that's how you get the blob. So you get the blob. It looks like it's got a fucking tomato in the middle of it. <laughs> that's the nugget center. <laughs> that's the creamy center. We need a world where Oliver Reed played Skeletor, man. Fuck yeah. Or at least Ram Man. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the same lines that Frank Langella did, you know? Right. Just 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 holding the fucking big old carafe of whiskey saying you know, the Alpha and the Omega. They have all this armor, but it doesn't seem like it would help. <laughs> <laughs> it's just over their shoulders, you know. If you yeah, get, it's get... just like, you know, stab them in the gut. I mean, they got all the, the, the important parts all open, you know, yeah. like, it's hey, like get a poke in the ribs like that guy just got. It's, their it's, armor really is terrible. It's kind of like RoboCop. Like yes. RoboCop, if you got a guy that can aim, you can shoot RoboCop in the mouth, no problem. Yeah, no problem. You 
ripped off you ripped off Robocop's jawbone. I synced it. I synced it. He just crushes his femur with his Robocop arm. Yeah, they they see you, pal. You better get moving. That guy's got a skinny tie. Your synth band ain't gonna help you now. <laughs> he is a member of the Hong Kong Cavaliers after all. <laughs> You need that skinny tie. And that horn section. He's been on this this planet or this world for five minutes. He's already ripped the ass out of his pants. They weren't made for this kind of terrain, Cameron. Just as shitty as their armors. Yeah. Runs like Steven Seagal, real weird. <laughs> Fla- flapping his arms. Yeah, he's got flappy arm style. <laughs> Don't worry, we got this net right here, man. That's where the crat dragon lives. <laughs> you, you, you couldn't catch a fucking. Look at this. Oh, shit. You couldn't catch a fucking catfish with that fucking net. It's like, wow, this was a minor inconvenience. That slowed him down for three seconds. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, guys, I have my checkbook. I have this Monopoly money here. <laughs> Probably Canadian. That horse is pissed. Where's he going? What What are you thinking, buddy? And, and I wasn't lying about that sentient car and ambulance there, Cameron. All of a sudden, he said, here, here comes the fucking lowrider with a chain gun. Just to wake, make sure you guys are still awake. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it that far, Kyle? What's that? Did you oh, make it? The, the... With the, the Mexican gang ambush? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched the whole thing. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and I loved it. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. This blood tip sword. Don't put your sword there. Jesus Christ, dude. That's unsanitary. That's strawberry jam, dude. <laughs> Why does he look so shocked? You stabbed him with the sword. Wait, we got this rock. Oh, please, yes. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> the mullet tribe is triumphed. They, they look like the hippies tribe from Solar Babies. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> The guy with the with the hawk. <laughs> I I unapologetically love that fucking movie. By the way, I do too. I love it. It's fucking stupid as hell, but I don't give a shit. We reviewed it for the show one time. They hated. Okay, it. I was we like, had one hip. I'm sorry. We had one hip toss. <laughs> oh, yeah. We reviewed, we reviewed it for the show one time, and they hated. It. I was like, "What? You guys are fucking crazy. Just throwing it out of there." You know. It's, it's... Fucking great. <laughs> It's like, this is the 1980s. Get over it. <laughs> so, speaking of which, P- Peter DeLuise shows up in that motocross movie this guy made. That oh involves that of all gladiators. <laughs> Peter DeLuise, Courtney Gaines, and Tony Longo. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to tell you guys how it is, okay? Just because. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Yeah, because Courtney Gaines, of course, is, is Malachi and, and Children of the Corn, so they've worked together before. Outlander! Oliver Reed has the greatest shaped head I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> His head is magnificent. Uh, him or Bri- Pick one, him or Brian Blessed. Uh, I don't know, it's just a... Uh... I, they're both very good skull. I admire the shape of their skulls, but <laughs> I had this weird theory, like, because cause Oliver Reed's last movie was Gladiator, and I watched that movie Unhinged with Russell Crowe. I think there's this weird, like, he transferred his skull and body, like, weight and mass to <laughs> Russell Crowe. <laughs> somehow because Russell Crowe is turning into Oliver Reed his head got 
gigantic. He, he's he's no longer Sid six point seven weight anymore. No, he's he's he is the new Oliver Reed. He's fucking wonderful. Which is a film I've always wanted a sequel to. Was Virtuosity? It never Virtuosity. happened though. <laughs> It never, it never happened, though. <laughs> Just chomping that glass down. Himself. It was a ridiculous movie, but with today's technology, it's not that far-fetched. Mm-mm. Best movie with T- Tracy Lords with her clothes on. Well, yeah. Well, I've seen lots of films with Tracy Lords with her clothes on, to be fair. And... Oh, me too. But, you know, who remembers those? Well... <clears throat> Sorry. This film needs a chocker real bad. Where's Paul Smith for fuck's sakes? Come on. Oh, he'll show Stay up. With the good stuff. Here. He'll show up. It's like, oh, guys, you know where a concussion is? <laughs> that guy looks like Howard Hesman. He was old. You know, <laughs> God, God bless, uh, rest in peace, Howard Hessman, a.k.a. Johnny Fever. Star of the best Police Academy film there is. This is a jawbreaker put on a fucking ring pot. That's what it is. It's a chewed up piece of hubba bubba. <laughs> Been sitting out of the sun too long. Uka buka, chaka chaka. They don't speak the English, son. We've ripped their voice boxes out like in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Adrian Barbeau. What do you think, Bright Eyes? And starring Steve Piercy of Rat. <coughs> round and round. Your love will find a way, find Uncle Milty. That guy will put his dick on the dining room table, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard stories about Uncle Milty, you know. Oh, that shit would break that dining room table. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to see how big it is? Whop. Just fucking putting that rope on the dinner table. Hope you brought enough for everybody. <laughs> hey, this roast ain't gonna season itself, is all I'll say about that one. What's on dinner for dinner tonight? Tube steak smothered in underwear. <laughs> it's like the worst, the most disgusting and most baller move ever happens in Empire Records when fucking um, Rex Manning's gonna put the salad dressing on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like blue cheese. <laughs> it's like why I, I I feel sick by watching this, and I, I I have to commend you at the same time that you have that kind of fucking son. Say, hey, you know what? A girl will suck my dick with salad dressing on it. You know, their armorers in this age aren't very good. Nope, their tailors suck. But goddamn plastic surgeons are amazing. <sighs> Them boobies are fantastic. They're not flapjacky at all. No. Those are definitely not soup can t- titties. Somebody's doing some quality work back in the day. Maybe these girls some fine brassiers to hold them up and, you know. Yeah. We got the finest yak skins to hold up these girls' boobies. Sorry, I know you're new here, but this is what we call exposition, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the Army of Darkness training montage? <laughs> well, he teaches them how to fight, don't he? It's been so long since I watched that movie. 
after the, the five editions at least that I've owned of it. My favorite edition, the official bootleg edition. Yeah, the brown paper one. Yep. Come on, dude, it's a bow and arrow, you sissy. Oh, no. Uh, wah, wah. Why is he dressed like Robin Hood? He got the good digs. Hey, I can split your arrow in two. Even Conan had a montage. <clears throat> he need Mako in narrating this. <laughs> that's that's the only thing we're missing, man. Mm-hmm. And they brought the, or the uh, and they brought the women. The women. He was bred to the finest stock. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember reading somewhere that he said Arnold Schwarzenegger's mother almost disowned him over that scene. She was so embarrassed about it. He gave that fucking girl a coat. She was cold. He put he covered her up. Yeah. He should have said, "Wow, what a gentleman." Assassin. Oh. Silly bitch. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go fuck with me again. He hadn't ducked out of the way. They're like, oh fuck, killed the new oh, guy. Oh shit, back to square one, I guess. <laughs> this guy needs to be the Sphinx for Mystery Men, you know, just saying stuff backwards. If you don't master your rage, the rage will become your master. I would argue, one of, if not the best Tom Waits role, close second Tom Waits, uh, uh, appearance in Mystery Men. Master inventor of non-lethal weaponry and just banging old ladies at that party. Are they going to catch a sandworm? But... Oh. Oh, man, you forgot your pants, dude. Yeah, it's a little breezy down there, ain't it? Shit. Did Gotta I just find the kids out. from Thunderdome? Because I'm in it now. <laughs> Going back to Barter Town. You get on the train. I, I will admit, every every once in a while at work, I'll, I'll turn on. Um, uh, was it the Teen Heroes on? It's not that now we need another hero. Is it is it Last of the Living? I'll turn it on and think about you, Kyle, yeah. for sure. You know, Thunderdome is a five star classic. <laughs> They, uh, drinking too too fast, cracking open beer number two. They, they used the other song uh, in a Night Rider episode when the Juggernaut busted up Kit and the Street Gang had to put him back together again. Oh shit, no! <laughs> you didn't get fucked up by Car. No, it was it was another one because you had you had Car, which is for like an episode, maybe two episodes. You had of course Goliath, who was in like a couple episodes with the, the yeah. with Garth Knight, the the mustachio David Hasselhoff. <laughs> And then you had the Juggernaut, which I think was built by um, some genre actress that I know. Is it Sarah Douglas was involved in this? I think she, she, they built this thing with good. the same shit as Kit on it, and gonna destroy Kit. And um, that's when Michael Knight meets the Street Tough. That's on like the third season of the show. <laughs> the, the the Urban Avenger. I forget his name now. Oh, kinky. Pretend this is me whipping you, boy. Charlton Heston. <clears throat> yep, could be. You get when you work for Kenny Rogers Roasters. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that you're sweating vodka. Mind if I lick your armpit? Well, you know he wants to. It's, it's like we reviewed Black Mama, White Mama. And there's a scene in the movie where, where women are licking Vic Diaz's sweaty belly. Ew! I, <laughs> oh no, that's how COVID happens, right? I was like, that's gonna taste like hey, it's been in the fridge too long. It's got that slime on it. Living in this world would suck. You would just get fucking sand everywhere up in the ass. Oh yeah. Oh no. 
It's the only black guy in the whole movie. Look at this righteous black ass, too. Oh, there's a series of, uh... I don't want to call them natives, you know. Too, people are too fucking woke out there, but... That's what they'd call them. Dude, that guy fucking died with no dignity at all. He got his fucking <laughs> dick in the sand and his ass hanging out. <laughs> Where'd they get all the Aquan to tease her hair up to the fucking moon, man? Bad. I'm guessing some kind of sorcery, you know. He does look like a Thunderdome, a Thunderdome feral kid, though. He does. Get that mullet. Now he's got a, he's got the Mad Max shoulder pad going on. What so. is with the fucking shoulder pad? <laughs> every every post apocalyptic movie we have to have giant fucking shoulder pads. He's just got the one like Max though. Yeah, it's like shoulder problems in the future. Well, they've gotten rid of those minorities. Let's go. Let's go. Move on to the, to the desert here. You know. So what was the point of all of that? To say that minorities are bad. There was no point. <laughs> yeah. The fuck happened there? They should have made those little dudes like in Gauntlet just stealing your shit while you're sleeping. Yeah. Meanwhile, get up, on Tatooine. <laughs> get them up, kick them, take their fucking. <laughs> you did kick the motherfuckers, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. They puke out potions for you. They're... Oh, that was a. Uh... No, that was Gauntlet. No. I was thinking of uh, Golden Axe. Those little fuckers. Oh, that was Golden Axe, Axe, yeah. White man trying to bring that guy down. Oh, there's some Thunderdome, th some Thunderdome children yeah. for you. Future war boys at work. Man from the sky. I forget the whole bit where they're telling the story of the, sh the shit they drew on the wall. Hey, it's only your right. You can tell the tell. Yeah, get them shoulder pads off. They're fucking useless. Get them out of here. You haven't fucking earned them yet, buddy. Here, take this small dagger. Make you feel inadequate. That guy just rubbed sand on her butt for some reason. No, that's how you gotta do it, man. You do it for good luck, I think. I guess. Oh, shit. Tell me we get some Greco-Roman fucking wrestling with Paul L. Smith here. <laughs> what were we watching? I forget what it was. I think it might have been... She, I think it was, where they had the big bronze man. Somebody had to fight. Treat me like a slave. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> this bitch will fetch top dollar. Damn, they found the cardboard kingdom over here. Jesus. Their tarp budget might be USB out of control. A lot of cardboard, a lot of stucco. Ew. No! Ow! He's making some Greco Roman barbecue. Good oh, snake! There you go. Oh, Suzanne be impressed. Oh, I thought he hurts the snakes. Fuck that, man. No one get me near no okay, snake. Okay, now this... People flying around, this has to be the introduction of Paul Smith. Yeah, there, there he is. is, yes. <laughs> Unmistakable. <laughs> and doing what he does best. Damn. Just kick that bitch. Kick, kick, kick Indeed. Kick that kick fucker. Oh, if you don't kick the midget, I'll be upset. Smash him into the ground like a railroad spike. <laughs> that beautiful, uh -oh. beautiful... Smile is missed. <laughs> you gonna make out? What's going on here? Let me tell you something, Ric Flair. <laughs> Owen Hart, it's tiny Owen Hart. He is. 
I was trying to think. It is tiny, Owen Hart. Watch that hand, sir. Ugh, he's already got bad underwear on. Look at that shit just sticking out of his ass. Oh, that's cruel. <laughs> this tunnel's not uh, big enough for the two of us. Oh, he looks like Johnny Lawrence. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cobra Kai, bitches. I mean, nothing. I'll just hang out, I'll hang out here and shut the fuck up then. <laughs> your wife's got no tits and no ass, or your future wife anyway. Yeah. That's a, that's what I ever got about Popeye and Beauty and the Beast. You know, they... Bell, Bell basically refused Gaston, but he's like the pillar of his community. She could like marry rich and be done with it. You know, mm -hmm. just just settle and uh, same thing with olive oil. He's like the commandant's number one guy. Is this underworld? Where's Master Blaster? <laughs> I was hoping that Paul Paul Smith would take little Owen Hart and make him yeah, his Master man. Blaster. <laughs> Who's like Master Blaster? Have Tiny Owen on his back? It'd be fucking fantastic. Get this whore over here. That ass, though. Damn, we got Princess Leia dancing the tune over there. Somebody said they're, <laughs> watch Somebody said they're watching the Golden Child today. I had to say, chunky asses. Chunky asses. <laughs> Butt cake, uh, sequel to the bestseller butt pie. Uh, I love Paul Smith, man. He just brings something to everything he does, man. He's like a human cartoon, really. I wonder if they know they're dancing above the Rancor pit. <laughs> <laughs> He's just punching everyone. I mean, like, who's going to stop him? Right. Look at that fancy girl on her clean boobs. What's wrong with her? Paul Smith's like, Brian, panties match. This I like. <laughs> the beer not so much though solid gold dancers man you can tell what religion she is from that angle <laughs> yeah <laughs> did he just push a woman down a well <laughs> <laughs> I think he did Paul Smith gives zero bucks. He's got the most evil side eye in the business, man. It's like, don't look at me, Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Smith just made the list. <laughs> Damn, she gets the big cup, huh? She gets the Mike, Mike Myers, sorry, Marion Action Murderer, Mega Murderer, uh, so I ordered the small cappuccino. <laughs> That's what I'm watch tonight, to wash my eyes from fucking ambulance. Just Phil Hartman talking about Al Alcatraz for, for two minutes in that movie. <laughs> <clears throat> And then the men pissed in the bitches' ocular cavities. This is I definitely an upgrade from olive oil. He's saying. I know. Yeah, this one's got this one's got tits. 
that she's not sort of shaky from her time at the Overlook. Yeah, yeah, I've heard you the first time, man. Here we go. The worst sex toy ever crafted. Oh, it's a map. I'm sorry. I thought it was an old pair of underwear. Well, it could be. He probably wrote it on there. <laughs> he used that brown crayon to draw. I've cut your bonds. You will be my whore now. Yes, Tony Owen Hart back. <laughs> well, he has to have his revenge, or at least some 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 funny prank. He's gonna heart punch somebody. Somebody. And then he joined the Nation of Domination. <laughs> the tiny Nation of Domination. With Tiny Farouk and Tiny Mark Henry. Don't forget Tiny, um, was it Savio Vega? I forget that. Savio uh, Vega. He wasn't even black, he was, he was Cuban or something, or Puerto Rican wanted to. Oh man, that guy's been like seven nationalities. <laughs> Comma. The Godfather, Papa Shango. Pop, yeah. <laughs> Didn't he pop up at the end of the wrestler? Who Papa Shango? That was Ernest the Cat Miller. Ernest the Cat Miller, yeah. Oh, okay. Not to be confu- not Papa to be confused Sandy. with Norman Smiley. The hardcore champion Norman Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forget who said it like that, but one of those announcers used to say Norman Smiley. Just call the man Smiley. That's his name. This movie needs, <laughs> yeah. this movie needs more El Dandy. She gonna break that bitch's arm like an over the top. Put the strap on him. Someone hip toss somebody. Come on. I've been watching so many Santo movies that that's how I'm judging my movies now. Oh, you For should. Every hip, every hip toss, <laughs> you get a star. As well, you should. I just love it, you know, the extra shots of Paul Smith just randomly knocking people out for no fucking reason. Well, that's what you want. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I showed up for. Oh, spear! Out of nowhere. Gore! <laughs> that girl's got a family. Stop the damn match! She's tougher than a nickel steak. <laughs> she got a lot of heart. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That's, that's a snapmare. Get back in there, bitch. The Frankensteiner. Oh, the Frankensteiner. Oh, the double axe handle. <laughs> Ooh, need her right in the cooch. That's a snapmare. That's a, that's a wrestling move. Yeah, that's a snapmare. Give her the Garvin stomp. <laughs> Even Michael P.S. Hayes is doing a fucking uh, running right now, yeah. <coughs> if he's good enough for Highlander, he's good enough for me. Stab that bitch. Do it. Just put that thumb down, you're gonna be over with, okay? Oh, weak. Weak oh. sauce, weak sauce. Are you okay? He's making sure he's not grabbing her ass, though. He's grabbing her hips. Hey, look, it's mini spike. <laughs> yeah. he, he can do some, some spectacular things, though. Him and Crash Holly. Come off the top rope, Paul Smith. Give him a five-star frog splash. <laughs> oh, God. It'd be like that time that the big, um... Brock Lesnar f 5 the big show in the ring and the fucking ring broke. <laughs> it's like, yeah, not gonna work anymore. Yeah. At least it's not time like the time Brock Lesnar thought he could do, like, a fucking shooting star press. And landed on his face. Damn near broke his fucking neck in 30 places. <laughs> I remember that one, man. He landed right on his face.
Oh, upgrade. Still got his one shoulder pad, though. Aesthetically, I mean, it looks cool, but it's just like, why? practically, it's just like, yeah, why is it here? Oh, hey, they're going to take, take, take a little, little on with him? Look, it's mini Paul Dano. Punch his face now, immediately. Oh, it's got puns. I know all the shortcuts, but do you know how to toss a salad? What what's what's going on here? Did they just I don't know what they're doing now? I don't what's, think they what's know the what plot of this movie. I don't understand what they're trying to do here. They got to go get the piece of hubba bubba bubble gum back from Oliver Reed, right? I assume. Yeah, I mean, technically that's what it's about, but I don't know what that whole exchange was supposed to be. Yeah. are done for now. Oh, his watch is flashing. Oh! Suckered the old Casio. <laughs> Okie doke. The old, <laughs> the old Casio glare trick. Like they had nothing else shiny back in that time that could reflect the sunlight. I guess that's the first time that's ever happened in history. But it spooked them a little bit. Those swords don't gleam at all, I guess. That guy there is about as useless as fucking tits on a bowl. Oh, yeah. Well, they taught Gore all their good skills. Or, I mean, um, whatever this guy's name is. <laughs> I know what the guy named Hero's name is. Blonde guy. Tarl. Wasn't that his name, Tarl? Yeah, Tarl, yeah. Tarl. Tarl is on the land of Gore. Is this the part where he explains Hollow Earth theory to these few? People. It's like, welcome to the Flat Earth Society. <laughs> oh no, I'm sinking in the ground. Graboids. <laughs> Graboids. Graboids, you're fucked, dude. S sinkhole, uh. They're on Blood Beach. <clears throat> yes, they're on Blood Beach. <laughs> Yeah, I say let him go. He's being yeah, eaten. He's being eaten by one of the sandworms. Gotta come out of he's gonna be a fucking torso. Oh sorry, but we did all we could. Oh dude, see that's how you do it. You gotta hold the wrist. That's the barbarian handshake. So I guess the lesson we learned is don't walk there. No, no Tiny Owen, don't do it. I don't want to lose you, buddy. Stay away from that hole. You'll be gone in two seconds. <clears throat> All right. What in the fuck? He's too stupid to live. Throw him in the hole. <laughs> I need that sword, damn it. I lost my pack. A shoulder pad. Oh, the one shoulder pad. I could tell he was dancing with her what he was doing. <coughs> Somebody needs to 
tell Oliver Reed he's got his crown on upside down and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a good plumage in the back. Yeah. Like like Nobody Aragorn would and dare tell him that. Nobody would dare. Like Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Oh, he's like, Sir, but your breath can knock over a shit wagon. Get it in. Little order. Now they went through all this fucking time to teach him how to use his bow and arrow. Now where the fuck is his bow and arrow at? There was a good chunk of that montage. Okay, so that horse's hair was blue, right? better armor than us. Stomp him and his native ass. Hey look, a leathery helmet. Or really plastic like I showed right there. Doesn't obscure my vision at all. <laughs> no, nothing to see here. Nothing to see. You guys go on while I take a duty back here. Yeah, we'll fool him with this one helmet. People were dumb back then. We get back back to Conan when he uh he puts on the, the Thulsa Doom robe. Yeah, like, yeah. Basically the proposition that guy to have gay sex. I just, I have I have no guidance or something, he says. I I don't know. Let me take you over here, young man, or something he says. And... <laughs> That's when Conan founded the Catholic Church. <laughs> Conan founded what the King Snake was that day, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. High adventure indeed. Hey, we look like them. We'll we'll blend amongst them. That's kind of bullshit. Here, push us along, slaves. Nobody's invented the wheel in the land of gore yet. Said so they'll never notice all this extra weight. Like it just increased by about eight hundred pounds. Like no, yeah. no big. Where do they were going? I don't know. Fuck a free ride though, bitch. What's up? This seems like the way to Oliver Reed's castle. It was Sark or I forget this movie now. Sarm or some nonsense. Let's push us, slaves. Get stronger. Two things the world of gore needs. Wheels and pants. <clears throat> now you think they want to free these slaves, but you know, they're just they're just taking a ride. 
So they did all this to hitch a ride for 90 seconds? I uh-huh. guess, yeah. yeah. Damn. Oh. oh. Just kidney punching that motherfucker. Fuck yeah, he rabbit punched his ass. <laughs> Roger Dalger comes out and says, Welcome to the camp. I guess you all know why you're here. Tiny Owen looks like he's wearing a fucking grocery bag. (laughs) Maybe he is. He's wearing some, some plastic waders. think they got up there logistically like I don't mean the characters I mean the actors you think they airdropped them and just like here drop you on top of this mountain oh I don't know probably I imagine it's filmed on location you know without a permit somewhere it's just it's a went to the the Larry Cohen school of filmmaking (laughs) get the shot and run Never let the midget lead. He's only going to fall down a tiny hole. I know it. <laughs> oh, see? You bumped your head, midget. Especially a legion of tiny people. That's how time bandits happen. Where's Fidget? Oh, the ring's glowing. Before? He's got the glow, y'all. Oh, shit. Show enough. The last dragon of gore. I can only hope there's a, there's a converse uh, clad uh, ch- showing up at the end of this movie. So um, our hero can reset up the level. Who's the master? People keep posting that that meme. Oh, who would win, Daniel Stein or Bruce Leroy? Though well, Bruce Leroy has the glow on. Mm. Let's just roll that midget down that ramp. <laughs> oh no. I thought she was wearing a black sensor square for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she looked home, she right? Oh, what's coming? Is it a giant beast, I hope? I think they wandered into the set of Lucio Fulci's Conquest. No, it's not It's not Vaseline covered enough for that. No, <laughs> there's no laser nunchucks either. <laughs> The crossover we didn't know we needed, right? I was, hoping, hawk, uh, I was hoping for a giant beast, but we didn't get that, you know. They're in the raping pit, I guess. Hey, by the way, I can't see you all the way through this helmet. They don't quite fit me, but I think I see some peoples over there. Is that an elbow? Look, he's white out, right out in the open, man. What the fuck? It's like that last Rambo film. He's supposed to be like this big military guy, but he's like standing in plain sight from these Mexican cartel guys. So it doesn't bad's gonna happen to him. Ew, it's a leper. Is 
that a zombie? Oh, I hope so. Those are Italian zombies. They're covered in oatmeal and shit. <laughs> you were right. It was a Fulci movie. It, it was. It was. <laughs> God, there's so much walking in this movie. Fuck. It's like a Lord of the Rings movie. It's like walk, walk, walk. Oh walk, boy, walk, another walk. desert landscape. Wonderful. No good, I guess you're used to us now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to think of some stupid plan that will work stupidly. We're going to pull the old, uh, the old Chewbacca trick. We're going to put these, these binds on you and, you know. Hey, look, we Sam found Neal. the wiki. Oh, man. Now open that butthole just wide enough for them to see it, girl. Sell it for daddy. That poor man has Carl Malden knows going on. <laughs> well, I guess that plan backfired. Hey, now Princess Leia, how you doing? Welcome to the movie. You know who that guy looks like? He looks like that kid that's gonna arm wrestle Sebastian Stallone, Stallone's son and over the top. Oh, Jesus at the, Christ. At, <laughs> on, the, on, on the pinball on the table. pinball machine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> over the top sucks. <laughs> I that movie is garbage. I, I can't agree with that statement. <laughs> I hate it. It gets this reputation of some beloved 80s movie and you watch it. Literally nothing happens in that fucking movie. Not a goddamn thing happens. Except, it's a canon movie, man. Yeah, through except, and through. you know, Terry Funk gets thrown through a set of French doors. That's cool. And that's about it. Somebody drinks a quart of motor oil for no yeah, reason. Yeah, and then he gets sick later because <laughs> he drank motor oil. Which is essentially poison, you know? I mean... You know, they have that line that he has in Roadhouse, though. You know, your your balls could fill a dump truck line. It does, uh, as to say that... Patrick Swayze could ejaculate so much to fill a dump truck. I sure as shit ain't gonna show you his dick. <laughs> no. This is like the bad old headdresses. Jesus, the fucking headgear in this movie is amazing. That's where the whole budget went. My goddamn never ending story, too, over in this place. <laughs> oh, God. I have to rewatch that movie. No, I, you don't have to rewatch. I I forget how much of a bastard Basket is in that movie. Like, yeah, something about him making wishes and losing all his memories or something. I forget now. Oh, it's terrible. I don't know, <laughs> but I saw that in the theater twice. It's, it's the magic of Jonathan Brandis. That movie's pretty <laughs> awful too. <laughs> ah, Oliver Reed. Everybody. But Joe Piscopo sweats pure fucking vodka. Joe Piscopo was uh, quite spectacular because he was just starting his muscle-bound Joe Piscopo phase. Yeah. That was after he caught Joe Piscopolio. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, sir. He's like, you're lucky you don't compete anymore, Chuck Norris, because I would kick your ass. Yeah. His fucking neck just sticking out the veins and shit. Whatever he did talk, whatever he talked, fucking veins at the acting. Yeah, but that film, you you got Mako in that movie, Richard Mole and and Joe Piscopo, so you you're you're blessed. Also, is it Joe Piscopo, some Republican douchebag DJ now? Too? I I think so. I don't know. They all turn into Republican I, douchers. I can still enjoy Giant Dangerously, and you know, without too much trouble. Dead Heat, man. Yeah, I was just gonna say Dead Heat. You know, whether or not he's a a douchebag. I, I still got love for Dead Heat. Oh man, no, nobody did a better Frank Sinatra impression. Oh god. 
I'm talking chocolate and vanilla. Life's an Eskimo pie. Let's take a bite. <laughs> he did that song with that Beatle kid. You know, the one looks like a broad. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Not, not Velvet Jones funny, but still pretty funny. Yeah. Velvet Jones. <laughs> How to be a hoe. <laughs> it's not a James Brown celebrity hot tub. No. Hot tub. It's too hot. Too hot in a hot tub. Gotta cool it off. What is it? Uh, next on next on James Brown celebrity hot tub party, uh, Jackie Joyce Brothers. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, we just made a giant circle back to, like, the fucking solid gold set. Yes. Dario Argento presents Solid Gold. Solid Gold Dancers. Uh, although I think the Running Man had any actual Solid Gold Dancers. And Paul Abdul. And well, Paul Abdul. Did, yeah, was she in the movie? I know she did the chore the, the choreograph. I think she was. One, I think she did the choreography, but I think she might have like been she one was, of the dancers too. I probably. Think. She was on the In Living Color show, wasn't she? she was a dancer? I think so. That was, Gen- that was Jennifer Lopez. Oh, oh okay. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez is a fly girl. She's a fly girl? Yep. That's what they call them, girls. Somebody I know is having, having a signing with all the Nitro girls, including Kimberly Page. Yeah. I'm impressed by that. I don't know why. My buddy Charlie was telling me that there's an episode of WCW where uh, one of the Nitro girls' tops fall off. <laughs> Well, he's probably not wrong. I'm sure it happened. <laughs> it's like, yeah, spring in my daiquiri. Let's never forget about the lead of Nip Slip when she was in bed with Edge. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Man, God bless that moment. <laughs> Oliver Reed's so unimpressed. Well, these girls ain't got no asses. I'd be unimpressed, too. Like you, you generating your body. Yes, you over here. Like, where do you get these fucking rock and roll hairdos from? She got this look of whimsy that I I, I can't get enough of right now. Like, yes, this could be your whore. If you give me your whore, that is. I want the warrior woman. That extra in the background does not look impressed at all. Just like, what the fuck is going on over here? I'm confused. Get the table! Dave, um... Get the tables. Come on, get the tables. <laughs> they're bringing oh out, my god, it's a slobber knocker. They're bringing out quite the feast for them, aren't they? Shit, but I wish I had that power to just yell and food appeared. Like a feast, no less. Candies and donuts. Ooh, look at so, that. All, I'm sorry. All flexible, too. Yeah. Sorry. I was at the, the Veruca Salt line. Candies and donuts and so much you would go nuts. <laughs> Give it to me now. Oh well, damn my luck. Oh, what do they what do they call it? And um, they need that dance to this movie from from Hell Comes to Frogtown. <laughs> was it the dance the dance of the seven snakes or this or? Uh... Oh shit! I I used to know this. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a show where we did Hell Comes to Frogtown. I should remember this. Nice. But I'd love to be able to find his return to Frogtown, although finding a copy of that is, like, next to impossible. It doesn't seem like one that would be hard to find, either. That one guy is in it, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it's Pat Benatar. Is she running with the shadows of the night? 
It's the pectoral squad that just showed up. What's going on? They're gonna brand them mm -hmm. on with the ceremonial branding of the bum bums. Just like Indiana Jones woke up is all I'm gonna say about that one. <laughs> Shorty hit him. No, Doctor Jones. It's the plastic papali. <laughs> 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 Dude, that the fucking brand's getting cool as fuck right now. Not the fat. Oh. Right in the inner thigh. Because when I'm a selfish lover, I don't go down on her. She wants to feel something down there. The. Uh, I can't speak for him, but I imagine Ali Reed's a very selfish lover. Mm. I imagine he, he was. I bet money on that. Oh. The fucking Captain Smiley back here is in back, a like background shot of every one of these fucking... It's very, very impressed. And them shitty Sam Neill over here. <laughs> What's my job? I stand behind the left shoulder of Oliver Reed at all times. It's a very important job. It's not even like a good second banana. Like, that guy ain't fought nobody. That midget is going to, like, where'd he go? He's going to save him, right? He's going to come back and... He's right there, isn't he? No, or the tiny guy just walked away. Oh, okay. A while ago, he's like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Go ahead, you brand your girl. Right above the left bosom will do just fine. I was hoping they pulled that hood back and it'd be Vince McMahon. <laughs> oh, it was that, me, Austin. That has to be Kane. Just throw JR lines out the whole show from now on. Oh, you hit him in the, oh, right, him in the, in the belly. right in the belly. Or possibly his naughty place. Right in the alcohol locker. <laughs> the alcohol locker. Located directly above the boner garage. Right in the cheeseburger locker. <laughs> he hit his liver. Oliver Reed's done for. Why? He, he stuck, he's sticking his hand up like he's the macho man Randy Savage, though. He's gonna fucking... Avenge Elizabeth here in a minute. You've got lust, bullet. You got lust in your eyes for Elizabeth. Elizabeth. That's how you do it. I've been playing Elden Ring. That guy. That guy died because he didn't turtle roll. He branded my me. ability to harvest alcohol. <laughs> now I'm my own whore because he branded me. I'll be touching myself tonight. <laughs> I, w I had one hoe, now I got two hoes. Somehow I won here. This movie is just a, a, a half-hour set piece of them hiding against rocks and foiling plots. That's it. It's like, hold. Hold. Go, go, go. Yeah. 
you want to live forever? Oh, the million dollar dreams applied. Nobody gets out of that. Uh huh. <coughs> what was more powerful, the million dollar dream or the rowdy sleeper? The fucking million dollar dream. I'd never seen nobody come back from that one. Or the Cobra Clutch. Ooh, Cobra Clutch. Which that motherfucker will still put you in. Old school deep dive. Uh, on request, if you meet Sergeant Slaughter, and this is true. He'll, he'll put if you at, if you say yeah, I'll have you put me in the Cobra Clutch. D don't, don't say yes unless you're prepared for it. He'll he'll lock it in. That's the guy that kicks Serpentor's ass. Is all I'll say about that one. He yeah. was GI Joe cartoon. I wouldn't. Mess with that. <laughs> that was the fridge ever on GI Joe. I don't remember. I mean, that's the thing. But fridge was the GI Joe. Yeah, he was in the GI Joe. He had a toy. I remember that. Yep. He had to send away for that motherfucker. Yeah, it came with an iron football and a chain. It was awesome. I had it. It was the only GI Joe I had because I bought it at a garage sale, and GI Joe was all oh, that that shitty rubber band in the crotch though. Yeah, they break and just spin around and suck. Be careful, my back. Any Rogers? My back's a little tender. And the room got deathly quiet. And his face lost all expression. You want to play the gladiator games, boy? Just put on some shoulder pads. <laughs> oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. All down there. You got to know when to brand them. Know when to throw them. No, he looks like Grandfather from Silent Night, Silent Night Deathly Night. <laughs> yeah. Punish! He looks like Grandpa from Troll 2. Well, yeah. With the fucking bologna sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, the, what closes the gate of the trolls. Goddamn bologna sandwich. With extra mayo because they're fucking white people. Ha-ha, you open the door. He's like, freedom! That's foolhardy, old man, right there. Yeah, you always look to Mitchell Lee. You want to send the guy that wasn't whipped and emaciated. Yeah, there you go. They had golden shower problems. I was going to say, was that Spot from the Munsters? <laughs> yeah. Like, why would you walk through that door after you've seen that? I would just be like, well, I guess we're not going in there. Yeah, there's no guarantee that's only going to happen once. <laughs> they turned Mrs. Voorhees' head into a candle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to find her head, the Necronomicons in here. <laughs> Oh, you know the Necronomicon's in there. The Ajante Dagger. <laughs> the Ajante Dagger. That dagger that killed Jason. Yep. You know what your film means? Stephen Williams, okay? Best Friday 13th character ever. Great Duke. Great Duke, man. Makes me think about little girls. Pink dress sticking hot dogs through a donut. Oh, uh, I don't know where that line came from, but I, I, I endorse it. Like, uh, that, that's a. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Touch that glowing rock. This is the same one from the beginning of the movie with the tomato in the middle of it. And this is where John Hammond found the ember. The Amber to uh, make the dinosaurs. So he gets that back, and like the guy clearly gets to go home. But what's the fuck? What the fuck do they even want this stupid thing for anyway? What's it gonna bring back? Is that gonna make every 
everything cool in, in their hometown. I don't get it. Is it kind of like the stones in Temple of Doom, I guess, or oh, something? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't like they were benefiting from this or something. I don't, it was just there, town square. <laughs> Got a little Kali Ma out, you know. And then all the children are free. Left tunnel! <laughs> He wrote my respect. Glad your handshake. Oh, all the children are escaping. This is like the scene in Goonies where they find the fucking water slide. <laughs> Is anything that Clerks cartoon show ever gave us? They gave us that that last Starfighter, Indiana Jones, and the Lent and Temple of Doom crossover episode. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, slash Bad News Bears episode. I forgot now. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. little old heart's got the fucking key. Tiny Owen's got them all. You're in the palm of his hand now, sucker. <coughs> See, like, dude, don't be a dick. A See that that chain seemed very weak to me. It also seemed a lot smaller on the outside than it was on the inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there. Advance, advance. They don't have weapons that work at all. Oh! <laughs> it's like it floated to his head. Nobody knows how to get stupid. See, now he gets the girl, because you're going to die. It's like, but wait, I know 20th century medicine. I can save you, but I won't. Yep. It's like, hey, Billy, you know what a tourniquet is? Huh? <laughs> I just get the backwards crown on again. That guy just standing over his left shoulder again. Right. It's 12 minutes left. We're still waiting for Jack Talents to show up. <clears throat> show up, yes. That's right. He literally is in like three minutes of this fucking movie, isn't he? burnt me with my own stick. Now you must die. <laughs> fucking old man's pelt's got going on. Look at that shit. Yeah. He, sun he sunburned as fuck and just sticks right out. Manscaping? Body here. Manscaping? I will not. Thank you, name the section. Oh, here comes his training coming into plague. You know, he's got the bow and arrow now. Dude is just made out of 100% rawhide, ain't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's human beef jerky. Oh, 
Oh, there's where all the fires come from. Planet Gore looks like an awful place to live. <laughs> it's totally devoid of resources. Everybody's dumb. Life expectancy is like 33. If that, yeah. <laughs> the armor is terrible. Yeah, the armor sucks. They have all sorts of anonymities, but not pants. Yeah. Like, the women are awesome. About all that'd be one plus. Forward. That'd be one plus. Oh! Oh, he do. Yo! Oh, Into the fire. Again, ten minutes left, no Jack Balance yet. Yeah. What the fuck did you just do? Oliver Reed making faces. <laughs> He's making giggle faces. I love it. It's like somebody stole his candy or something. He's making silly cow faces. Where the that guy's chest hair will burn forever. Watch out. They call the, that kindling. <laughs> the next one will be at your head. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> he just got Steve Martin. Oh, oh, what the fuck were you thinking? Oh shit! He's seventy-five percent alcohol. Yeah, that would be. He, kind of he cool. just got Steve Martin. He's a dead shot. Hey, we got a long rock back. It does nothing apparently. I love all these old movies. There could be like a hundred thousand bad guys, but if you kill the one leader. You win. <laughs> you just win. There's no other bad, no other bad guys in this kingdom. No. Look at them. They all got clothes now. Look like it took showers. <laughs> she calmed that hair down a little bit. She still, she's she's, weavable. Still teased the fuck out of it though. Jack Powell's Hey, have a... I forgot he was in this one. Hey, there he is. Right at the 1 minute, 26 seconds, 30 second mark. 1 hour, 26 minutes, 30, 30 seconds. So who is he? Like, <laughs> dad? I don't get it. Just the old man that walked out of the fucking place. Thank you, young man from the future. I love that moment in, in uh, Alone in the Dark. He's like, yep, obviously they go to this party and hang out. <laughs> yes, we still ain't got sh but... Got something you can service. Mm -hmm. Jack Palin's taking a nap for 90 minutes and said, you know, here I am. You know. <laughs> I forgot I was even here. <laughs> So we're in a fucking robe like he's in the Ten Commandments or something. That's what we want to know. Done a bang up job so far, sir. Take his Sunday loafers off. Nope. They're gonna make love by the side by the by the bedside of the Red Rock, though. Yep, I hear you, Red Rock. Do I teach her the the wonders of oral pleasure here, or no? <sighs> forget, forget. Oh, he's touching to feel the power. I 
I come along with my magic ring. It's destiny. Please show me the way of love and what fisting is. <laughs> whilst I wear this ring. So the key to getting off of gore is to make the ring touch the giant piece of chewed bubblegum. But the key to getting into gore is to wreck your weird German car into a tree. Sounds legit. <laughs> I guess. Yep. <laughs> And that was Jack Palance's part. There we yeah. Go. yeah. I don't know, Vaslu. I wouldn't take that shit from him. It's not even tied around his neck. He's only a partial douchebag. Arnold Vosloo is the one human being that doesn't look right with a full head of hair. It's <laughs> so like, yeah, by the way, that's if, what you get. By the way, Vosloo, you you stuck an arrow through the in the, in the Ollie Reed's neck. I don't think you have, man. Star of the Mummy and Hard Target, and shitty dark, dark man sequels, apparently. Shitty dark man, yeah. <laughs> Hey, now he gets the headgear. Now I know why Jack Palance showed up for this shoot. It's like, yep, I've got women now. Lots of them. Looks like the fucking Pope at a black mass, man. What the hell? <laughs> Jack Palance is just getting his medieval boner on. <laughs> this will be my devils. Thank you, Ken Russell. <laughs> so this whole movie was just about aiding Jack Palance in making his own pleasure planet. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's okay. that's that's what you take from it for sure. Right yeah, <laughs> I, I guess. Ben, oh Ben, I'll start with you, Cameron. What did you think of the film? What did you give one to ten? Oh, this is a hard sell for me, man. I like I like gore, but it's just I like it for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> um, it's fun. It's a fun movie, but it's not a good movie on 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 any level. It makes absolutely no sense, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I find it, I'll have to give it at least a five because I would definitely recommend it. And I always say, if anything under a five, I can't rightly recommend. So that's why I give it a five. Cool, Kyle. Um, ah, oh, gosh, dude. Uh, I think I saw four hip tosses in that movie, so I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. It's it's not bad. It's cheap as all hell. But you know, the, the hey, fun it had parts... four hip four hip tosses, but two snap mares. Yeah. Um. Paul Smith is like that's the best part of this movie. Once he's out, like it's just <laughs> running from ridiculous situation to ridiculous situation. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, four out of ten. There are many other movies in this subgenre that are way better but this one's not bad yep um i'm with, I'm with with cameron it's, it's, it's definitely middle of the road but it is a solid recommend for for paul smith's you know overacting and for oliver oh, yeah. oliver reed's overacting for the absurdity of it um if you're not watching with us now go watch go on your own it's it's like like they said it's not the best you'll ever see in this genre there's there's tons more you could be watching but um it's good enough, and I've, I've seen worse. Let's put it that way. Let's Do yourself that. a favor if you want to see a really good movie like this. There's a movie called Space Hunter. It's awesome. Yep. Uh, you can okay. find uh, Cinema Degeneration is kind of been dedicated to grindhouse exploitation. Uh, one strictly for full moon movies. One strictly for nothing but Nicolas Cage flicks. But if you're interested in anything that we do, just type in Cinema Degeneration. We're on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can find us anywhere you get your podcasts, anywhere you know podcasts are, are sold, we're there. So, yeah, just uh, check it out. We actually have a new 
new show we just debuted uh, this month called Without Warning that uh, I think you should check out if you like it. Podcast, we, we're not affiliated with anybody. I guess you could, since our, our feeds are broken, the best place to get our podcast is bloodbathpodcast.blogspot.com and it's me and Tim Gross and my buddy John talk about the weirdest movies you could find. And surprisingly, yeah, we have not covered gore. Nice. Uh, you can find any show I do here on Legion under the Butcher Shop banner. Um, so if you're looking for your your podcatcher for, for shows that we do, myself, Cameron, is on a show too with me called uh, Last Call of Torchies, which is a Walter Hill show. Uh, look for them all there. Uh, this is its own podcatcher, and look for that there. Um, look for Untapped Gems on the Intestinal Fortitude Podcast Network as well. That's better for me. The next time, uh, on, on, I don't know if he's still up for this request. We're going to do it anyway, though. We're going to do the sequel to Gore, which is Outlaw of Gore, which I'm sure will have at least 4% more Jack Palance in it, because he's on the box art. So, uh... <laughs> to the goring. <laughs> That's what you're next on... The two dream room commentaries, and um, we thank you guys for listening after this long hiatus. And we're gonna try to be get one out once a week for you guys. Um, no promises, but you know stuff happens. But m- more consistent than it was when you guys were listening to nothing. So that sounds like my podcast. There you go. <laughs> uh, this has been your two dream room commentaries, and uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>